In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error pop-up which says that the Roblox game client is not responding. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are trying to play Roblox and you keep getting a pop-up which looks like this which says the Roblox game client is not responding, there's a few things you're going to want to do. First, what you're going to want to do is come to your desktop and you want to come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner and go ahead and type Roblox player. Underneath the best match option, what you now want to do is right click onto the Roblox player app and click onto open file location. So this is going to take you across to the Roblox folder. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is make sure you've clicked onto Roblox player, right click and then come down and click onto properties. This is going to open up a window like this and what we're going to do first is change some compatibility settings. So to do this, if you look at the top, you've got these different tabs. What you want to do is click onto compatibility and the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to the settings section and tick the box where it says disable full screen optimizations. Next in the compatibility mode section up here, what you want to do is tick this box and click the drop down box and change this to Windows 7. Make sure to click apply and OK and then go ahead and try and run Roblox and this should resolve the issue. Now if you're using the Microsoft Store version of Roblox, what you're going to want to do next is come back to your desktop and then what you want to do is come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner, give this a click and type settings. Now underneath best match, go and open up the settings on your PC. And what you want to do is come into your apps. So you can see this option here. You want to click onto apps. In the search box, go ahead and type Roblox. You see we're going to get some different versions of Roblox here. Now what we want to do is click onto this one where it says Roblox, Roblox Corporation and give this a click and then you want to click onto advanced options. What you want to do from here first is go ahead and click the repair button. So if you look underneath this section which says reset you want to click onto repair to repair if there's any corrupted files and then what you want to do is go ahead and click the reset button after you've done this to reset the app and to get everything back to the normal settings. So once that's done you should now be able to play the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. If you're still having issues, there's one final thing you can try. So what you want to do again is come back to your desktop and come down to your search icon and in the search box now you want to type device management. Underneath best match, click onto your device manager and this is going to open up a window like this. From here, what you're going to want to do is click onto the arrow next to display adapters. So this one here, you want to click onto the arrow next to that one to display your graphics card. Now, what you want to do is make sure your drivers are up to date. To do this, what you want to do is right click onto your graphics card, click onto update driver and then click onto search automatically for drivers. And this is gonna tell you if you have the most up-to-date drivers. So if you don't, you'll be given the option to install the most up-to-date drivers. After doing this, you can come out of this, restart your PC and try and run Roblox again. If you're still having issues, then the final thing I would recommend is just to go ahead and reinstall Roblox on your PC. Hopefully after following these steps that should resolve your issue with the Roblox game client not responding. If this did help you out I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.